Hello, good day from Sudhanshu. In this video, I will showcase how you can take the backup of your emails on Outlook and then export it to the Google Workspace for business account. First of all, go on to your Outlook account, go on to the open and export settings, then import and export, select export to a file, click on next, select PST, click on next, select the email address, not a particular label or an inbox, but select the email address from which you've logged in, include subfolders, click on next, replace duplicates, for convenience store the file on the desktop by selecting the desktop from the panel and let's name it backup 4 and click on save, finish, let the password be empty, this will take the backup from your email address to the desktop in the PST file format. It includes your inbox, labels and sent email boxes. Let me show you where it is going as a backup. This is the file which is being created. You can see its size increasing 4.5 MB is the present size. Backup is still in the process. Okay. Let me refresh. Backup is completed. Now you have to export this file into the Google Workspace account. If it was to be a 500 MB or less than 500 MB, it could have been done through synchronization of IMAP. But because this is not an IMAP migration, this is considering you have 2 GB of data in your Outlook PST file, then this method is more convenient to upload the file more than 500 MB. It could be of 12 GB, it could be of 15 GB as well. So you would require a software to do this and the software name is transcend.com Okay. Once you are on the website, you can do take a shot at the trial version that is select the source, select Outlook PST and the target be Gmail Google Workspace. Click next, scroll down, select software. After selecting software, you can have the download of the free trial. From this page, mention the source, then again Google Workspace, select the number of mailboxes, that is the users. In case you want to do it for 10 email addresses, you should select 10. But if you are doing it for a single email address, then you can select one as the option. Put in your organization name. Select the country. Because I am from India, I will select India. Let the email address be of your Gmail as well. Enter the phone number. Enter something in the command. Then click on submit. This will take you to a new page which will allow you to download the software. Click on download software. Once you've downloaded the software, apply this key mentioned over here. Once you apply the key, download the software. After downloading the software, you can apply the key. Post completion of the key, you will have something like this on your system. Once you've installed this software, access the software by clicking on yes. You will be taken to an open interface for the project. Here you can mention the project name that is for people on web. Select the source as PST. 
let this be selected end user credential target be google workspace and let this be end user credential click on continue this will take you to the user section on the user selection select the pst you want to migrate that is go on to the desktop and select backup for file or whatever name you have given to the file okay here you will mention the name over here you will mention the destination email address this is the corporate email account of google workspace then click on continue let these be have the default values remember to give the configuration name as um, for people on web select backup file is verified already in case it is not click on verify over here remember to authenticate the account because i have already done this previously so i am not doing it again but otherwise you may see a different kind of an option here that is authorize google once you click on authorize google this is how it appears click on authorize google remember to log in with the corporate email address to which you want to migrate your emails to select all the eight options check boxes that are present on the screen click on continue then you would see a screen pop up on your screen was your authentication successful click on yes close this screen here you would see a verified option validation successful once you've done that click on continue let these be the default values click on continue again from here you can see the panel is progressing let these be let this have over here the same values remember to check tick the check boxes once you tick the check boxes continue button will become active click on continue let these have the default values in case you want to migrate more than five emails in the trial there is option of only five messages getting transferred but if you want to upgrade 2 GB of data, then you would have to update the license. Click on continue. Click on validate. If your account is not validated, it will take some time to validate the account. Once it is validated, then click on continue. Here you would find the option of starting the migration. Click on the plus button click on the trial because presently I am using the trial in case you have the in production then enter the license that you've got click on start and the migration will start this takes in case you have a 2 GB of data in your PST file then it takes approximately one day or five hours but then it is not quick but if you have 100 MB of data that or 200 MB of data that may complete in 5 to 10 minutes as this is going to take some time I am showing you the previous results that is you can go on to the result section and you would find the results over here okay you can see the forecast waiting for migration to start completed with failure just now view let us view okay it says it has failed let us see and find out what is the reason behind the failure invalid database or directory that is um, backup store okay so it says that uh, the project has an invalid PST we will again go and select the PST desktop this was the PST maybe it's not verified click on continue re-verify remember to check the logs on this software in case any errors appear Once the PST is verified, it will show validation successful message in green color over here. 
waiting for verification to complete okay check the user credentials re-verify and debug waiting for verification to complete okay there are chances that you might not be able to access the PST that is given on the desktop so for that reason what you can always do is copy this PST and uh, put it in the D drive change the drive from the C drive to any other drive let's say it is something for people put your PST over here now that it has multiple access, I will have to close the software. These are general errors that might appear. I will also close the Outlook because Outlook is no more required once you have the PST. Okay. After that, let's cancel it. Let me see. This is the PST. Let's copy it. Once we've copied it, we will paste it into the D drive. Okay. Now that we have it in the D drive, I will rearrange the path in the software that is Transcend software. Okay, let's continue. This time I'm going to change the path. So let's go to the user again. Select the PST source. D volume. In D volume, we have to select for for people, and then the PST. Click on continue. Let's re-verify. This time, it should validate. Generally, the C drive has the restriction of access because it is a security feature in Windows 11. So you would have to take the backup of PST in a different drive. Waiting for PST to complete. Okay, validation was successful. Now we will click on continue. Keep the option same. So remember to take the checkboxes. Click on continue. Continue. Click on checkboxes. Validate one user. Click on continue. Again, start the migration under the trial. Click on start. Okay, one job is in the queue. Waiting for queue to process. You can always check the status by clicking on the view section. Here you would find the data that is transmitted during the migration. The license type is still under the trial. It has started executing. You can switch between the various sections over here. Under the red section you can see the run section that one job is executing. This software is very convenient compared to other softwares on the internet. So presently it is still in the execution mode. I will show you the current status of the emails. Over here there are 28 emails. Okay. Now that the migration is in progress. the count on this would increase as you can see the migration is a slow process at any point in time you might see a console install option on this software 
so you can go ahead and click on that console install software it is virus free and it is very good to use data has been transmitted waiting for these markers to complete and you might see a daemon installation or, or au authorization.exe missing again once you click on the console install that is a yellow strip present over here which i have already accepted during the first usage of this software you can click on install daemon install authorization and install console options once those are done then you can proceed once one job is completed okay let us check the emails okay the email count has increased from 28 to 33 and according to the email status the email is present in the drive that is all thank you good day bye bye